Welcome to Panama City. This place is called Veracruz, which I'm staying at. I'm just going down to the beach, which is pretty close to my hotel. Um, so I ask the question really, is Panama City dangerous? Is it safe? Well, what can I say? I've had a different experience coming here. Um, when I got off the plane, basically there were some guys with guns who were checking my passport, checking where I'm from, etc. Then I got into an Uber to get to my hotel and basically I just had to cut off my camera. I'm walking through a shanty town now. Uh, some geezer was coming up to me looking at me with my camera, so <laughs> I just turned it off. Best to be safe. But yeah, I got an Uber to the hotel and when I got the Uber, there was no uh, registration plate on the front. I thought that's a bit suspicious, but there was a sticker inside saying the number of the registration so i thought okay it's, this is this is the car then then got in the car obviously going to the hotel and there was police checkpoints uh police with machine guns and things and the guy pulled out his registration plates which was inside the car and showed the police and they said on your way so i was like okay you know what is this place all about but a lot of things happen in panama city obviously you've got um, a lot of refugees that come over on the boats through to the beach. You've got uh, human trafficking, you've got obviously drug smuggling, all sorts. So, a lot of police around. But yeah, wherever I go anywhere, if there's police around, then yeah, I feel safe. It's 31 degrees today, so I'm a little bit thirsty. So, I'm going to go in the supermarket, get a bottle of Coke. Um, yeah, definitely need it in this weather. I'll show you in the supermarket the prices of things in Panama. Some places can be expensive. Uh, I've been to the supermarket I'm going to now. It's pretty standard. Um, it's not too expensive. But certain items are, which I've noticed around Latin America, things like uh, shampoo, gels, uh, you know, deodorant, things like that. They can be pretty expensive. I don't know why import tax and all that, but yeah. But yeah, let's go and have a little look at the supermarkets. Yeah, you've got the Cheetos here. It's around $2.50. That's about £2 for a bag of those. You've got Oreos here. That's like 45 cents, 50 cents. That's for like three or four. It's okay. So you've got nuts and things. All these weird crisps. You've got something that looks like Pringles. They're 75 cents. That's not too bad. But yeah, let's go and get a Coke. Yeah, this is what I'm after. Coke Zero, no sugar. That's 50 cents. That'll do me. There you go, big bottles of Coke as well. $2.75. And those are $4.75. That's quite pricey. Okay, I'm heading down to the beach now. Like I say, you've always got to have your wits about you when you come into Latin America. Um, also, I've noticed there's a lot of like dogs around everywhere. A lot of stray dogs. Yeah, so you've got to be careful with those. Sometimes they're in packs as well. Don't want to get bit by one of these dogs. Obviously rapies and things like that, so... Yeah, got to be careful in that sense as well. But yeah, looking around, always, like I say, you've got to check your surroundings. If you're going down a, a dodgy place, dodgy street, you're on your own. There's obviously, you know, some gangster or whatever walking around, then just be aware. There's a little shop there. Yeah, it's... Definite little shanty town this place. A lot of these kind of hut style buildings, tin roofs. Okay, and this is the way to the beach. Let's go and have a little look. Some exotic fruits there. It's like papi or something. Let's watch my step. As you can see, it's a little bit unkempt round here. Needs a bit of tidying up. But yeah, the sea is far out at the moment. I was around here the other day and basically the sea was in, so it looked a lot better. But I don't know if you can actually swim in that sea. I've been told they, they actually have uh, sewerage in there, so I don't know if you can actually swim in there. But yeah, the sea is proper far out at the moment. The beach house there. 
But yeah, looks a bit of a mess at the moment. But again, yeah, you can tell me in comments whether you can swim in that sea, I'm not sure. Like I say, I heard a rumour you can't because lots of sewerage. But yeah, this is Veracruz Beach. Looks a lot better when the water's in. But again, the water does look a bit unkempt. That hut looks very grand with those pillars. Very Greek style. Some mountains over the back there. Got a little barber shop here. Yeah, definitely do not feel like I'm in England. It's definitely hot here, I need another drink. I found this lady here, she's selling, it looks like lemon and orange juice for $1. So I think that's a bargain, let's get a drink. Hola. Uh, quiero uh, una naranja jugo, por favor. Lo que me queda es maracuyá. What is it? Maracuyá. Oh, maracuyá. Sí. Okay. Um, uh, I don't know what that is. Limón. Oh, limón. Oh, yes, so not lemon is. Yes, I'll have a lemon. Un, una limón, uh, por favor. Yeah, muy Spanish. Yeah. So, what is English? No, it's no. Oh, yeah, it's Panama. It's Spanish. <laughs> uh, one, un, un dollar. Okay, gracias, gracias. There you go, gracias. There you go, very cold, just what's needed. Let's give it a go. Camera is popcorn, this is uh, for YouTube, so uh, promotion, promotion, so yeah. Yeah, promotion, YouTube. So yes, if you see this lady with the orange juice, come and visit her. Let's give it a go. Ice cold, that is great. Fresia, fresia, yeah. This is bueno, muy bien. <laughs> This is delicious. It's, um, how can I put it? The lemon, lemon sometimes juice, it can have a little tang to it, it can be quite strong, but that, that is really like uh, delicate, very delicious. So you sold out. Oh, you got ice, you got ice in there, yeah. Yeah, yeah the lady sold out, so obviously a popular place. This was the only juice, but I'm glad. I was going to go for the orange juice, but I'm glad I tried this. This is as fresh as it gets. Very tropical. Cheers. Okay, I've finished my lemon juice. Me and Rebecca have been chatting in Spanglish. Half English, half Spanish. She's a lovely lady. If you're in the Veracruz area, I suggest you come and try this juice because it is top notch. Yes, what a lovely lady. And there was police on the corner as well, so I felt safe. Like I said earlier, as long as you don't do stupid things in Latin America, then you'll be safe. My idea of Panama, like I say, it's mixed. Um, you've got these checkpoints of police checking traffic, and there's a heavy police presence. So obviously they've had their problems, but I'm always relieved to see police around because you feel a lot more safer. But yeah, as long as you don't do stupid things, flash your cash. Uh, just put yourself in situations of where you can get in trouble. Like I say, walking around late at night, no chance. So I don't bother with that. Uh, if I'm going anywhere, if I go to a bar or anything, always got a taxi waiting outside because I've seen Columbia, I got caught out. Um, and that's not the, the way to go. So yeah, just have your wits about you. It's funky chicken, man. Don't see chickens like them in England either. Just milling around tonight's tea. There go another grand house. Apparently, over the back here on the hills, this is the area of Veracruz not to go. So, if you're in Veracruz, don't go over into the hills because you get into a bit of trouble there. Notice on that house as well, they've got barbed wire protecting the house. Yeah, the hotel I'm staying at, Hotel Pacific Coast, it's about 10-15 minute drive into Panama City. Um, it's secluded, it's out the way, it's very tranquilo. The people who run the actual hotel, absolute legends, they can't do enough for you. Uh, the beer is very cheap, so that's, that's very good. Um, you get about, I don't know, six beers for about $8.25 or something, which is about one pound in English money for a beer, so ice cold beer so that suits me but yeah i can't speak high enough for this hotel i'll go and show you in a second
just walking up to the hotel now. I've got to say also the hotel is not far from the BLB airport, the Balboa airport. I find the airfares to the Balboa airport are pretty cheap. The price of an Uber to the Hotel Pacific Coast Hotel is about $8, which I think is very good. Like I say, if you want a peaceful stay somewhere tranquilo out the way in Panama City, then I highly recommend this place because, like I say, it's very secluded. Lots of security around here, no problems. You'll have a nice relaxing stay. I got the room on Hotels.com. It cost me about £30 a night, which I think is good value. Let's go and check it out. Here you go, here's the hotel. You've got the pool here. It's a bit of a quiet day today, it's a Monday. But yeah, great vibe. Lots of families come here. It was really busy on the weekend. But yeah, it's nice and tranquilo today. Tranquilo, put my teeth in, tranquilo. You got some lovely flowers here. Yeah, nice apartments. Hotel Pacific Coast. Okay, I'm here with Roman. He's the general manager of this fine establishment. He should tell you why you need to come to Hotel Pacific Coast and Panama City. Go on, shoot. Why, why should you come here? Hi guys, hello. Welcome to Pacific Coast in Panama City. I'm waiting for you in the time when do you like it. I am here for wait for you. Come and see Roman, absolute legend. You will not regret coming to this place, really cool. Wow, look at the weather. I brought a little bit of England back with me. Okay, I'm inside the room, it's air conditioned. Obviously you've got a bed here. It's a clean, basic room. Like I say, the prices for Panama are very, very good. Highly recommend this place if you want to stay safe. Right, if you like this video, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Laters. Just before I go, here's my new swanky bathrobe. I've been put up in a new five-star hotel because my flight got cancelled. This is the Westin Hotel. Here's my big bed. Well, two big beds. Here's my big TV. And moving through here, you've got a great sea view. This is a lot better view than the beach I showed you earlier because the water was out. But pardon the weather. Yeah, it's a little bit grey. Yeah, imagine on a sunny day, this would be spectacular. Not a bad little hotel for a freebie. I need more of my flights cancelled. See you in the next one.